Hi, come in, sit down, grab a coffee. I'm just gonna slice up the plywood and I'll be right with you. Well, thanks for waiting. Uh, as I'm sure you're aware, cutting up a sheet of plywood in a small workshop is a momentous event. It disrupts everything. So I just wanted to get it done and out of the way and not the most interesting things to watch. Although that could be a video, perhaps. Anyway, you look quite comfortable in the chair and I see you've got your coffee. So I've now cut all of the pieces I need to build the drawers for the new MFT cabinet. I took the sizes off of uh, SketchUp and double check them, of course, and then pump them into, I believe it's called Cutlist Optimizer. I'll put a link down below for you, should you wish to have a look at it. Free piece of online software and literally pop in all the sizes of the pieces that you want and it'll calculate the most efficient way for you to consume your sheet goods. It'll also tell you which way to approach it. Cut number one, cut number two, cut number three. But it's always fairly obvious which is the most efficient way to do it, as demonstrated earlier. So I'm going to assemble the drawers now, and I'm going to use my current favourite tool, the old Domino. It makes it just nice and easy, simple and straightforward. I don't think I'll even bother with screws, glue, clamp, and 20 minutes after that, you can pop the clamps off and set them to one side, excuse for multiple cups of coffee. So I'll get that done, and then we'll look at mounting the drawer runners, both on the side of the drawer and in the cabinet itself. It's in a bit. So I'm going to take exactly the same approach on the side panels, mark the hell out of everything, as if I've got everything pre-marked and placed ready for me to cut, I stand far less, ch less chance of cocking it all up and making the proverbial ear from the pig. Now, I aren't saying I'm a simpleton, but sometimes you've got to wonder whether you're wired up right in the factory, haven't you? Well, I have. Because all of these now are this way up. So I'm going to put my little extra support on there. That's better. So while the dominoes having a little rest, let's have a dry assembly and test the theory.
you've just got to love a piece of kit that works that well. Fabulous. And that's just dry fit as you've seen. So I get the clamps on there, the joints will all tighten up nice and tight. So I've got all the rest of the domino slots and I'm now ready to do my handles. I'm going to do the handles exactly the same as I've done on the other cabinet tree that I've got in the workshop. So I've got a couple of stops set up on my router table fence and each stop is 50 mil from the side so that I'll end up with a 100 mil slot and all I'm going to do is just feed the piece in slowly and then push across to the other bit and then feed out. I've set the rate a bit so that it's just pry, pry, high of the piece that I'm cutting. And then I'll probably go three mil a pass, maybe four mil a pass, maybe even five mil a pass, and then keep going back until I get to 25 mil. <laughs> Well, who was it on TV that coined the phrase Muppetry? I really can't remember, but I give you Exhibit A, my lord. The first car on the table saw, and I did it on the wrong side. Peasant. So I've cut a little fillet. That's just over there drying. And while it is, I'm going to assemble the other two drawers, by which time that should be ready for a little plain down and a sand. And make it as if it didn't happen. Well, all my drawers are complete and it's now time for me to look at fitting the rails. Chosen the rails based on their weight capacity, which is extreme and way over the top for what I need. But then I like a, a margin of safety and they're full extension drawers so I can get to see everything that's in the drawer. The rails are 44 mil high, so I've got 22 mil to center line. So to mount the drawer portion of the rail, the inner slider, I'll measure up from the bottom 22 mil strike a line and then drill the holes with the rail flush against the front so that I can fit my face on top. So as mentioned just now, I'm going to strike a line at 22 mil up so that I can position the middle of this inner rail, the rail that goes on the side of the drawers, at exactly the right distance to bring the bottom of the cabinet side flush with the bottom of the drawer. 
which means if I mount the rail on the on the bottom shelf then the bottom of the drawer is going to touch the bottom shelf so I'm going to use these two mil UBC window spacers and just drop them under the rail like so so that I can raise the drawer up and then I've got some clearance underneath to ensure that I get the rails in the correct alignment front to back I'm going to use a piece of the ply that I'll be using to make the face plates for the drawers from line it up flush with the front and clamp it in place and then I can just bring my drawer runner up to touch the back of the ply and I'll know it'll be in the perfect spot Thank you. 